Hi everyone! Welcome to the Flavorama channel. In today's video, we have a recipe that is loved by so many and the perfect addition to your holiday menu. Rich, tasty mac and cheese. Today, we are going to make Flavorama 6 Cheese Cast Iron Mac. If that sounds delicious to you, stay tuned and enjoy the video. First, we're going to start by grating our cheeses. For mac and cheese, you can buy the cheese that is already shredded. However, buying the cheese in blocks and then shredding the cheese yourself ensures that all the cheeses melt well together and are more cohesive. There are so many yummy cheeses to choose from. You can check out all the cheeses used in this recipe in our blog post. The link will be in the description box below. It takes some time to grate the cheese at home, especially if you are using more than one cheese. But trust, when you taste how good your mac is, it is completely worth it. Next, we're going to prepare to boil our noodles. You can use any type of noodle for this recipe, such as the classic elbow, of course. For this recipe, we're going to use the fun cavatappi. First, make sure to measure the amount of noodles you need by using dry noodles, that's before they're cooked. For this recipe, you're going to need about 3 cups. This way, we just want to make sure that the amount of cheeses, milk, and pasta are cohesive and go well together. Next, we're going to boil our noodles. But of course, to begin to add a nice flavor, we're going to use chicken broth to boil the noodles instead of just plain old water. You can also cannot forget to add some Flavorama seasoning to the broth, just to give another layer of flavor to this dish. You can use low sodium chicken broth, veggie broth, beef broth. The list is endless depending on the taste that you're looking for. We will begin to heat up the broth on high heat and bring it to a boil. Then, we will add the pasta in and stir. We are going to cook the pasta according to the instructions on the box or until the pasta is al dente, making sure that the broth is fully absorbed by the pasta. Once that's done, we can turn it off and set the pasta aside. Now we can begin to preheat the oven at 350 degrees. Now if you haven't done so already, you can continue to shred all the cheeses as needed. You will see a variety of cheeses being used in this video. Remember, variety equals amazing flavor. Another important part of this recipe is our milk mixture. For this mixture, we're going to use whole milk, evaporated milk, flavor on the seasoning, and two large eggs. You have to make sure that you mix everything together, making sure that all the yolks are broken up so that everything just cohesively mixes together well. Now we can start to melt our butter, which will be about 8 ounces for this recipe. We can do so in a microwave safe bowl and warm up the butter in the microwave for about 30 seconds or just enough to make sure that we can stir the butter around. This will make it easier to add to our cooked pasta later on. Now we can begin to measure out our sour cream to put on the cooked pasta as well. Now that we have both the sour cream and the butter prepped, we can begin to add both of these ingredients into the cooked pasta. Once we add them into the pasta, we want to make sure that it's mixed well so that every piece of pasta is coated. Great, now that we have our milk mixture ready, we're going to add that into the coated pasta. Then we're going to start to slowly add in the shredded cheeses, all that yummy cheese that we shredded. We want to do this maybe one or two handfuls at a time and mix together making sure that all the cheese is incorporated well into the pasta. And make sure that you save a little bit of cheese so we can put it on top of the mac before we put it inside the oven. Now 
Now for this recipe, we're going to use a cast iron skillet. We want to make sure that we add a little bit of butter to the bottom of the cast iron skillet just to make sure that one, nothing is sticking to the bottom. And this also adds like a nice caramelization to the bottom of the mac and cheese. We're going to add in our pasta that we mix together with the milk, the cheese, and everything else, and then put that remaining cheese on top. Now our mac and cheese is ready to be added to the preheated oven. Now after a few minutes in the oven, you begin to notice that the cheese is becoming more nice and melted. At this point, you want to keep on checking on your mac and cheese in the oven. You're going to know that it's almost done when there's a nice golden color at the top and there's bubbles on the sides. And there you have it everyone. You have warm, cheesy, flavorful, Flavorama 6 Cheese Cast Iron Mac. This is going to be a hit at the family table this holiday season for sure. And this recipe is foolproof every time, any time of the year. Thank you for watching everyone. Please enjoy this recipe during the holidays or any time of the year. And we will see you next time.